Hello, in this video, I will show you how to apply LUTs in Lightroom. The use of LUTs in Lightroom has become possible with release of 3D LUT Creator version 1.46. Before this event, there was no such possibility. Lightroom doesn't support LUTs directly, and to process a photo with a LUT, you had to open it in Photoshop. Why would one need to use LUTs in Lightroom? The fact is, the set of color correction tools in Lightroom is very small. Lightroom has white balance, saturation, curves, HSL, and split toning. These tools appeared in Photoshop version 1.0 back in 1990. That is, they are 28 years old. The only color correction tool that wasn't available in Photoshop 28 years ago was camera calibration. However, all of these tools still haven't got the ability to accurately and selectively correct individual colors, neither the ability to change brightness within a single color, nor the ability to make color corrections in color models, such as Lab and CMYK, nor the ability to work with color charts and so on. 3D LUT Creator was created just because of a lack of these features in Photoshop and Lightroom. 3D LUT Creator allowed you to create LUTs, which you could use to edit photos in Photoshop. However, LUTs had no application in Lightroom. For example, if you processed a wedding series, you had to open each photo in Photoshop to apply a LUT. It was very inconvenient. Until now. So, let's see where you can apply LUTs in Lightroom. If you shoot RAW, and I hope you do, then both Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw will use Color Profile for your camera to develop your photos. Color Profile can be selected in Camera Calibration tab. Several profiles for your camera are usually included with Lightroom. Adobe Standard Profile always exists, and there are other profiles that should simulate the colors of in-camera JPEGs. This photo was taken with Canon 5D Mark II. Lightroom offers several additional profiles for that camera that don't differ much from Adobe Standard. There are almost no programs for editing these profiles, there are only programs that can create profiles based on color targets. But you have no possibility to influence what exactly the calibration program will write into this profile. 3D LUT Creator, starting with version 1.46, can save LUTs in DCP file format. Finally, you have an opportunity to create color profiles with your own color corrections. There are several ways to create color profiles with 3D LUT Creator, and in this video, I will consider one of them. Others will be discussed in the following lessons. In this video, I will set the Adobe Standard Profile as the basis. That is, I will apply my LUT to the photo developed in Lightroom with this profile. So, my new profile will include Adobe Standard. Changes that LUT makes will be applied on top of the color profile. Before I begin, I need to adjust white balance and exposure. This will not affect the resulting profile, but change how the photo will look in 3D LUT Creator. The photo looks good right from the camera, so I am going to leave it as is. I will remember the profile that I just used and will open the photo in 3D LUT Creator. In this window, I can select the color profile which the TIFF file would be created with, and this choice is of great importance. The fact is that LUTs historically don't contain information about the color profile. Therefore, you can apply the LUT created for sRGB to the photo with Pro Photo Profile, and no program will notify you that you are applying the wrong LUT. LUT will simply replace the colors of the image. But the same LUT applied to a photo in sRGB and Pro Photo will show different results of color correction. Since most LUTs that exist on the market today are designed for sRGB, I'm going to choose sRGB here. It is better to choose 16-bit in this case, but this will not affect the resulting profile. Lightroom creates the TIFF file with these settings and opens it in 3D LUT Creator. I don't want to stretch out the video, so I will not edit this photo by myself, but I will choose a preset from the library of LUTs that comes together with the program. I press F3 and select the folder with LUTs. I'm going to choose, for example, this LUT. This is before and after. I will take a closer look at the photo. The saturation of pink colors is greatly reduced here. Therefore, the lips can become too cold, 
so I'm going to adjust the grid just slightly. I find the point that is responsible for the pink. Here it is. I'll move it away from the center of the grid to increase the saturation. So here's LUT, which I want to transfer to Lightroom. To do this, I click Save 3D LUT. I choose DNG Camera Profile here. Now I need to select the folder where Lightroom stores the camera's profiles. On Windows, profiles are stored in the App Data folder. It is a hidden folder. To get there, I will type percent app data percent and hit enter next i go to the adobe folder camera raw camera profiles in this folder i will save my profile in dcp format lightroom is going to locate it after restart i'm going to give it the same name as the preset and then press save here is the window where i can select profile settings so first of all i need to choose a base profile this is the profile which I used to develop the picture in Lightroom. It is located in the Program Data folder on Drive C. This folder is hidden, so I type Program Data. Then again, Adobe, Camera Raw, Camera Profiles. And since I chose Adobe Standard Profile, I go to the Adobe Standard folder. If you select any other profile, it will most likely be in Camera folder. I'm opening Adobe Standard Folder and looking for a profile for my camera. Canon EOS 5D Mark II, Adobe Standard. I select it. The second thing I need to choose is a folder where Lightroom stores user presets. Why do I need this folder? Because DCP profile structure has no means to change a color of neutrals. If my LUT changes the color of neutrals, and in this case I'm using RGB curves, this cannot be recorded in DCP profile. Therefore, 3D LUT Creator splits LUT into two parts. The main LUT is written to DCP profile, and changes of neutral colors are stored to a Lightroom preset. I select the folder with presets. The folder is located inside the App Data folder, and again, this folder is hidden. So I open the Explorer and type App Data with percent sign in here, and then I go to Adobe. Lightroom, Develop Presets. Here, I already made 3D LUT Creator folder, so I won't mix up my profiles with the rest of the presets. I will copy this path and paste it here. Let me show you how to save profiles on Mac. I press Save 3D LUT. In the left user menu, I select Library, then Application Support Folder, Adobe, Camera Raw, Camera Profiles. Select the DCP format, then click Save. Now I need to select the folder where Lightroom stores its profiles. They are in the System Library folder. Do not confuse it with the user one. To access this folder, I select in this drop down list the Macintosh HD, then Library, Application Support, Adobe, Camera Raw, Camera Profiles, Adobe Standard. In this folder, I select my profile. Next, I choose the location for saving my curve preset. This can be done via the User Menu Library. Then, Application Support Folder, Adobe, Lightroom, Developing Presets. Here, I have already created the 3D LUT Creator folder. Now, let's look at checkboxes. Checkboxes inherit HSV and inherit tone curve mean that the new profile will receive all color corrections from Adobe Standard Profile, and the new LUT will be applied on top of it. If I uncheck them, the color correction from Adobe Standard will not be used, and my new LUT will be applied to a raw, unprocessed photo. But since I applied it already to the developed photo, I need to leave these checkboxes on to match the results. LUT is calculated for quite a long time because its dimensions are huge. Sometimes you can get this warning window that there are strong hue changes in the LUT, which can cause banding. This is not as scary as you may think. In particular, such bandings can also be found in Adobe Profiles. But just in case, take this into consideration. I click OK. Profile has been saved. I need to restart Lightroom so that it finds my profile. Let's check it. This is my TIFF file. 
I cannot apply any profile to it because it has already been developed. So now I can delete it. This is the original photo in raw format. Here's my new profile. I select it, but the result is differing from the one that I had in 3D LUT Creator. This is due to the fact that the profile cannot change the neutrals. Curves that change neutrals are saved in the preset, which was saved into the 3D LUT Creator folder. I select it, and now I get my LUT into Lightroom. By the way, if you apply a preset, you do not need to select a profile manually. It will be selected automatically even if you don't choose it. Let's go back to 3D LUT Creator. Let's open the folder where I saved my profile. As you can see, 3D LUT Creator added the camera's name to the file name. That is, if you shoot with different cameras and want to apply LUT to the photos, you can save your profile under the same name. Just remember to replace the original camera profile. In this case, the same preset with curves will be applied to different cameras, since the profile names will be the same. Let's take a look at the curves that 3D LUT Creator has created. Here they are. Now, let's compare the images. Here's 3D LUT Creator. Here's Lightroom. As you can see, I received my color correction in Lightroom and it uses only curves with the camera profile to get the desired result. Next, I can apply this LUT to a series of photos. I just select them and choose the preset. Done. The entire series is processed by just one LUT. Next, I can use Lightroom tools to adapt the photos to the same style. As you can see, LUT is used literally with just one click. So now you have a quick way to process a series of photos with one LUT without limiting yourself to Lightroom tools. That's all. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for your attention. Bye.